hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time i'm not oil on this channel i talk about immigration to canada and other things in my life that i want to share i am trying for 2021 to be more consistent on my channel and so i am committing myself to post every tuesday I'm committing myself to Tuesdays, and if possible, I will post a second video. I'm committing to the Tuesday. If I am able to, I'll post another day as well. But that's the plan for 2021. Now, in today's video, I'll be talking about how much does it cost to immigrate to Canada? What are the different costs that are involved? So... Stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. It is very important for you to subscribe so that others can be aware of the video based on the YouTube algorithm. So please subscribe. Happy New Year to all my subscribers. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I want you to know that I see you and I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and I want to welcome all the others who are going to subscribe. I thank you in advance. I hope that you will have a great year. The first cost will be the ELTS, the English test. So the cost for the English test is about... 36,000 Jamaican dollars or about 300 Canadian dollars for the ELS test. So the test is a, is 36,000 Jamaican dollars and in Canadian dollars it's 300 Canadian dollars for the English test. Your second cost is your WES ECA or your credential assessment and in jamaican the cost is twenty five thousand to thirty thousand dollars within that range because you also have to take into consideration cost to ship and so on and you can also add the cost to apply for your transcript as well I can't give you the cost of that because it varies depending on the institution that you went to because you'll have to apply for your transcript as well. So maybe, so the $25,000 to $30,000, you could maybe say add $2,000 for application for transcript. Your next cost is for medical. Now, for your medical, you can't just go to any doctor they have what you call panel physicians for immigration so if you're immigrating to canada there are special physicians that you need to go to and the cost for that is about fifteen thousand to twenty thousand jamaican dollars depending on where you go and in canadian it's about two hundred dollars you will also need to do your biometric test at the visa center and for individual person in jamaican your biometric test is nine thousand five hundred jamaican dollars for a single person however if you're going as a family the cost for the biometric for your family would be nineteen thousand dollars in canadian dollars the biometric test is $85 for the individual and $170 for your family. The next cost is police certificate. To immigrate to Canada, it's a requirement that you get your police certificate. And in Jamaica, the cost of police certificate is $6,000. And depending on whether or not you spend six months or more in another country, you would need to get police certificate for all the countries that you've lived in for over six months. So that's the cost, $6,000 for the Jamaican police certificate. 
and depending on which other country you're from the cost may vary you will also be required to take passport size pictures so the cost of passport size pictures would be one thousand dollars in jamaican and maybe ten dollars in canadian dollars because you're going to need your passport size pictures for your visa you will also need to pay your express entry processing fee now there's a processing fee for adults and processing fee for children as well the processing fee for one adult in jamaican is $92,000 and the processing fee for a child in Jamaican dollars is $25,000. In Canadian dollars, the adult processing fee for express entry is $825 while the processing fee for a child is $225 for the processing fee for express entry. There is also another fee that you have to pay. It's called the right of permanent residence fee. And this is only for adults. Now, you can pay it together with your processing fee. Or you can pay it after you've, they have asked for your passport or they have requested your passport. The right of permanent residence fee is only for adults. So the cost is 56000 Jamaican dollars and in Canadian dollars the right of permanent residence fee is $500 so if it's two adults it's $500 each so that would be $1,000 so you wouldn't have to pay for your children let's say you're a family of four so the only fee you would pay for your child is the processing fee but the right of permanent residence fee is for the adults before I continue I'm just reminding you to like and subscribe <laughs> Now, when you apply through Express Entry, you have to show proof of funds, which are funds that show how well you'd be able to take care of yourself or your family members when you get to Canada. Now, if you have a job offer before coming, then you would need to show all of this proof of funds. But if you don't have a job and you're coming through, the express entry then you will have to show these funds in your account and they must be there for a period of about six months or if you're receiving help with this fund then you should have a gift deed from your parent or whoever is contributing this fund to you now i'm going to insert a table showing you the figures and the conversion in jamaican dollars but i'll just quickly highlight the Canadian dollars. Now, for one family member, it's 12,960 Canadian dollar. For two persons, it's $16,135. For three persons, it's $19,836. And for four persons, you have to find $24,083. For five persons, $27,315. If you're coming with six persons, it's $30,806. And if you're coming with seven persons, it's $34,299. And for each additional person, you would add $3,492. So this is the money that you'll have to show to the Canadian immigration officers that you have in your account and that you'll be able to take care of yourself. This is not money that they'll take from you. This is just money that you take, sorry, you show to, that you have to take care of yourself and your family members. I just want to encourage you that it's important for you to have all of these funds because when you do get to Canada, you will realize that these funds will be absolutely necessary. And to be honest, if you can have more than the funds that they have requested, that would be helpful. Quite helpful because you'll have to find rent, 
food, and all the other living costs until you're able to find a job. So it's important for you to have your proof of funds and hopefully make sure that you have full access to this money because you will need it. I hope you found this video informative. If there are any questions, please ask them in the comment section. I will respond to your questions. I res will respond to your concerns. Uh, but in total, for one person to immigrate to Canada from Jamaica, just a single person, it would be about $250,500. And I'm not talking about the proof of funds here. You will have to add the proof of funds to this amount. I'm talking about all the processing fees and all the earlier fees I had listed, the ALS test, your credential assessment, your medical, your passport size pictures, your transcript, police certificate. Those are the things that I've added together to get the 250 2500 Jamaican dollars so you can add your proof of funds to it to find out your amount for one person Jamaica Jamaican dollar the proof of fund is one million four hundred and forty six thousand dollars so if you should add the two hundred and fifty thousand five hundred to that amount I think you would get about let's just run it off to 1.7 so for one person to immigrate from jamaica the cost would be about 1.7 million jamaican dollars so i hope this gave you a rough idea i mean my numbers may not be perfect with my addition but the figures i gave to you are listed on the cic website so i hope this will give you a good idea of how to plan as you continue on your journey All the best for the new year. I wish you much love, prosperity, and I hope that you will achieve all your goals and all your pursuits for 2021. Have a blessed year. See you in my next video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.